let's start by organizing our tier lists. Let's let's start with you know actively harmful rings at the bottom. Useless, mostly useless, and then okay, good, great. Let's start with that and our base, and we'll see how we go from there. Okay, so I mean, oh, actually, um, what is is there anything that has no good uses and is actively harmful? Uh, even something like aggravate monster. The ring of aggravate monster can be useful for like getting the quest nemesis and things to come to you. So it has some niche users. What is is there anything that's actively bad? Uh, I guess a negatively enchanted ring of protection would be bad. That doesn't make the the ring itself bad. Uh, All right, let's. Let's start with like cold resistance is it's okay. You know, it will give you extrinsic cold resistance, which is good. It stops you from getting dead to winter walls and things like that. But usually you get intrinsic cold resistance and then it will become mostly redundant after that. So it's good, can be good in the early game if you manage to identify it, which you probably don't. Um, but yeah, so similarly to that, I guess, is fire resistance um, and so forth. Uh, what do we got? Fire shock. Where are the other resistancy ones? Poison resistance. I said that's actually good uh, because that lets you, um, you know, it lets you not die and it lets you get intrinsic poison resistance by eating something which is poisonous. Uh, and protects you from the poison and then you get poison resistance and then you don't need the ring anymore but it's really good for that reason alone. Uh, the other one is shock resistance. Now this is 3.7 so shock resistance is pretty good uh, because it will it give you all the extrinsic sh uh, resistances will protect your items from explosions so if you're wearing a shock ring of shock resistance and a shocking sphere explodes on you uh, in 3.7 or if a trap goes off which mm, uh, you know electrically jolts you it the ring of shock resistance will protect your rings and wands from being exploded so it's quite good for that reason and you'll you find you know most people in 3.7 who uh, have not genocided shocking spheres will carry one of those around so that if they see one they can quickly chuck it on uh, to deal with the the sphere so that's quite good uh stealth is more is stealth is mostly useless like oh, i guess maybe it's okay um yeah, especially no this is 3.7 stealth is mostly useless because creatures will wake up in 3.7 if you smash them and you do not one shot them they'll scream uh at least the ones that have mouths and can scream um so yeah, that stealth is mostly useless. Let's go for that. Uh, da, 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 da. Going on from here, protection is okay. Um, there are usually better ways of getting armor class, but if you have the ring of protection uh, early on in the game, you probably want to wear it. And it's obviously if it's positively enchanted, uh, I believe you can also eat it uh, to get intrinsic protection from the ring as well. And obviously you can eat these other ones to get their resistances as well. If the particular ring randomly is metal um, and you're a metallivore like a Zorn or so, or so forth, you can eat them to get the intrinsic resistance, which is great. Uh, increased damage. Yes like mostly useless the only time you really probably want this is if you're a monk because monks have terrible damage and you can't enchant your weapons uh if you're a monk and you're going for weaponless that is because you just want to punch everybody in the face with your um, gloves i really think they should make it so that the enchantment on your gloves increases the damage as a monk and also so that you get you know more attacks like jewelry actually i think you do i can't remember Anyway, increased damage is mostly useless, but it has a few niche usages for monks in particular. 
okay uh, gain constitution is mostly useless you can uh if you know that you're about to eat a wraith corpse or drink a, a potion of gain level you can chuck on a ring of gain constitution to give yourself more of a con bonus as you level up so when you, when you know you're definitely going to level up by like eating a wraith corpse or so forth you can put that on but I mean, it's fiddly and I can't be bothered with that and it's not, gives you a few more HP, but generally there's better ways of gaining, scumming for extra HP like, um, you know, nurses or uh, alchemy and that sort of thing. So, yeah, not not, not that useful. Uh, searching, uh, searching is mostly, it, it can be okay. Um, usually, if you've got no other better ring to wear it's good to warn you of traps and you don't have to press the s key quite so much and while you're wandering around in somewhere like Gehenna, if you don't have excalibur which has the same property um then it's useful for you know just finding all the fire traps and stuff like that but by the time you get there you generally have so many other better rings that are just much much more better than searching so you're better off just uh just using one of those instead uh but if you find it early on in the game it's slightly handy maybe not even worth the hunger but you know uh yeah uh okay going on from there the meat ring is unfortunately mostly useless so it <laughs> doesn't actually provide anything in there uh anything itself it's what you get when you polymorph a stone ring using searching over stealth this is three, yeah this is 3.7 um so in 3.7 stealth has been nerfed quite hard uh in that if you're in like a zoo or something like that and all the creatures are asleep and you're stealthing around and you smack one in the face and you don't kill it in one shot that creature is very likely to scream and wake up all the other monsters uh if it is something which can scream uh, blob cannot scream but like a leprechaun can scream. So if you're into it, like, you know, a zoo and you smash something with stealth on and you don't one shot it, it's going to scream and the whole zoo is going to wake up in 3.7, which is, uh, yeah, it makes stealth mostly useless, which is why I've got the ring of stealth in mostly useless. Searching is, as, as I just said before, it's not that great, but I guess it's not completely useless. Um, so, you know, it's okay. Uh... Okay, moving on. Um, invisibility is good. Uh, invisibility, yeah, it is a bit brutal um, in 3.7. That's one of the changes which I don't like because it makes something in the game complete, almost completely useless. Um, anyway, especially with something like a rogue, you know, with the whole bag is, you know, stealth and uh, that sort of thing. Invisibility is quite useful. There's a lot of different sources of it though, which makes the ring not that attractive given that um, you've got two ring slots, but you've got, you know, and it's other ways to gain it permanently. But if you find an early game ring of invisibility, it can increase your survival quite a lot because, um, so as, with a lot of these things, uh, they're really good early game, but then later, late game, they're not that great because there's, multiple other ways of achieving the same thing permanently for no cost um but in a, an early game ring of invisibility will save your life many times so for that reason i put that in good and not just okay um see invisible and eh, mostly useless um i mean it's technically has a use but like you're not just gonna go maybe if you know there's an invisible monster roaming around you might put it on but you're not just gonna wear it permanently or anything like that um yeah all right so moving on increase accuracies mostly useless um usually if you're failing to hit something you you know failing to hit something is you know it's probably because you're using an unskilled weapon or something like that so it maybe has a bit of a niche use in that but very quickly in the game you get to the point where you generally don't miss that much it's only super early game where you actually miss anything so it's very limited in its use as a very early game item 
usually the problem you have is that you're not doing enough damage not that you're missing things that much so increased accuracy is is not that useful as far as i know uh hunger here we go actively harmful um i guess technically it has some uses in that if you're really satiated and you want to eat a dragon corpse you could put it on to lose nutrition faster but that's generally not a problem you just don't eat the dragon or don't kill the dragon until you're ready to eat it uh, so that one is actively harmful uh, adornment yeah, is mostly useless like a bit of extra charisma charisma is not that useful a stat in the game if you know it'll help you get better prices from shopkeepers but the shop all the stuff that shopkeepers sell is so cheap anyway as to make it you know, not a problem at all uh if you're trying to gain levels from a fuku buy uh extra charisma will help with that but um you're better off gaining levels almost any other way like you know reverse genociding rates or potions or whatnot uh Charisma does help with things like uh, conflict as well. Um, so charisma, uh, conflict is charisma based. The more high charisma you have, the more chances that an enemy is going to fall victim to conflict and decide to start attacking its other uh, friends or so forth. But like, I wouldn't go wearing a ring of adornment and a ring of conflict at the same time. Anyway. Um, I'm going to rename this top tier. Speaking of conflict, I'm going to rename this top tier the oxygen tier. And uh, actually, no, not speaking of conflict, speaking of free action. This is the ring that is, is it's essential. It's like if this was a tier list about food, uh, the ring of free action would be water. Like, you know, uh, it's essential for life basically so what if you don't know what the ring of free action does it um it gives you the ability to not get paralyzed by creatures so lots of things can paralyze you in the game the potion of paralysis if thrown by a monster at you will freeze you in place for a few turns golden nagas have a paralyzing attack yunogu the demon uh major demon has a um a paralyzing attack so essentially, especially once you start getting into Gehenna, the Ring of Free Action is pretty much a necessity. Um, so that goes in the oxygen tier. Uh, well, I think I'm going to need another tier below that. Uh, so let's add a row below. Let's call this great. Uh, and we were speaking about conflict that's put conflict in there so conflict obviously turns all of the enemies uh, that it that can see, it, it's, that can see you um, and that fall victim to your charisma check uh, and they will start attacking each other or anything nearby as well as you but it definitely prevents them from um, it definitely makes things so much easier when all the monsters are bashing each other instead of all, uh, you know, beelining straight for you. Especially on like the Astral Plane or Moloch Sanctum or anywhere or a zoo or anything, anywhere where there's a whole bunch of monsters all together, the Ring of Conflict just makes things so much easier. In fact, I'd say it's a little bit OP and if I was going to nerf any ring in the game, I'd probably, it would probably be the Ring of Conflict. Um, I'd probably move it to something that is duration based um, so like you know not just permanent uh, as soon as you put it on but like you know a spell or a wand or um, a potion or something like that that doesn't last forever something consumable because it is extremely overpowered as a permanent thing um, yeah so that's those are probably the two Two of the best rings in the game um for sure uh moving on teleportation is mostly useless as a ring teleportation is really really good in general but with the ring of teleportation you don't get to choose when you teleport um and if you really want to not choose when you teleport you can just get 
teleportitis pretty easily if you're into that sort of thing. Um, so as a ring, it's not very useful. However, its counterpart teleport control is great. Um, it uh, is it great or good? I mean, I wouldn't put it in the same tier as these three. It's definitely a tier above, but that's not. Uh, conflict is definitely better than teleport control but um if we're putting them in the same tier that's you know we're not going to have a tier for each ring we're not ranking them from best to worst uh so teleport control allows you to choose the destination of your teleport when you do teleport so that's if you're teleporting within the level you can choose where you will end up if you're teleporting between levels you can also choose what level you want to appear on like it's extremely useful for that. It's extremely useful for escaping. If you're wearing one of these and you have a wand of teleport or a scroll of teleport, you can just uh, use it to get out of trouble and, and get yourself back to the staircase. Very useful if you're facing... Uh, I often will use a ring of teleport control when doing the quest because the quest nemesis is will, will teleport to the stairs to run away from you. So what I, I usually do is go to the quest nemesis uh, wag them up and then I'll teleport myself to the stairs and then the quest nemesis can't teleport to the stairs so they can't escape and you, you know you, you manage to control the situation like that so yeah it's super useful um, also very useful for after you get the amulet of Yendor if you can't be bothered walking down back to the vibrating square level you can just level port straight to the bottom uh, with that to perform the invocation Right, so moving on, levitation is also great. Um, it is just so good for you know avoiding being walk, wading through the water, basically. So it's pretty much a necessity on something like the Medusa level or Jewiplex's levels. Um, obviously, there are other ways around it. Um, in 3.7, there's an amulet of flying, which is fantastic. Flying is better than levitation because it allows you to control your elevation so to speak so you can still go downstairs while wearing it um you can fly down trap doors and and that sort of thing um but it does the amulet of flying requires an amulet slot which is pretty precious usually you'd want your amulet slot for uh reflection or life saving or something like that but levitation is a good alternative that obviously levitation 100 percent needed on the plane of air as well um and especially in 3.7 with the lava everywhere in Gehenna, you pretty much want uh, either levitation everywhere all the time, just about in Gehenna, or you want fireproof water walking boots so that you can just walk on the lava, take a, a little stroll. Um, yeah, okay, going from there, uh, oh, let's see, protection from shape, shape changes is actually pretty good in three points so it's a very niche use uh, um oh, i didn't mean protection from shape changes actually let's take that back out i meant sustainability sustainability is not very good in 3.6 it's not has niche uses maybe i'll move it to okay actually um sustainability is pretty much you only want to use this when you're facing up against a mind player so if you've genocided mind players it's completely useless but in 3.7 they have nerfed amnesia so mind players attacking you will no longer uh you know they they basically suck your brain uh and they used to cause amnesia which caused you to forget levels uh the dungeon levels it caused you to forget what spells are it caused you to forget all the items that you've identified which is probably worse than just dying in some sense, in some cases. Um, but in 3.7, they don't cause amnesia anymore. They still can kill you by making your you know, intelligence go to uh, zero, basically. But the Ring of Sustainability completely nullifies that. So in 3.7, a Ring of Sustainability, if you have it on, you can just fight a Mind Flayer with no ill effects. So they're quite useful for that reason. But that's like the only case you'd want it um you now you can save your scrolls of genocide and just cart one of these around and put it on whenever you run into a mind flayer and don't have to worry about them i'm, I'm tempted to move that up to 
uh, good actually because for that reason but it's only one monster but um, I quite like that trick so I'm going to put it in good um, okay moving on uh, ring of polymorph is not very useful um, because again like the ring of teleport you don't get to choose when you teleport it's you, you're generally better off going with some other source of polymorph if you want to be if you want to be actually it's quite because polymorph lasts for a long time it's more useful than teleportation let's put that in okay and let's put the ring of polymorph control in good so polymorph control allows you to choose what um what shape you want to take when you polymorph if you have both of these it requires two ring slots which is pretty um pretty brutal um you know you generally want those ring slots or something else but you can put the ring of polymorph on and then wait till you get polymorphed and uh then take it off yeah this is a hell of a list um yeah um if you have any opinions uh you know as to why things are, should be somewhere else please let me know uh, i don't know everything in the game that's for sure um so yeah polymorph is quite useful it's particularly as i just mentioned you know in 3.7 with lava everywhere and, and if you don't have a ring of levitation you can um you can use it to polymorph yourself into like a vampire and just fly around everywhere which is quite handy um yeah so very useful for that for that reason uh, okay moving on gain strength uh, is mostly useless um, if, unless you have if you find it early on in the dungeon and you don't have any other rings you might wear it um, but as soon as you get any of these other rings you know you, you, you're just going to throw it away and never use it again aggravate monster I'm going to put that in okay it does have it as i said it does have its uses for um luring out say the wizard or um trick craig sustainability higher than cold and fire because it's less niche is there more than the mind flayer example no there isn't um it's just the mind flayer so yeah so i i i like that i like that trick but it's it's it is very niche so yeah you're probably right you should probably go down um we're talking about aggregate monster it has niche uses as well um like i said mostly for getting the wizard out of the tower or the, the quest nemesis nemesis out of where they're hiding particularly if you do what's that one quest where it's like behind three different partitions and like you really want to um, get them out um I forget which which role that is but yeah it's useful for that but there are other ways of doing that you know you can just drink a curse potion of invisibility um you can use a drum of earthquake and that sort of thing to wake them up depending on the range um i can't remember exactly what the it's so aggregate monster is mostly useless but it does have that niche use uh, slow digestion uh, it's okay everyone seems to love the ring of slow digestion because they're so afraid of starving to death I don't think starvation is that much of an issue in NetHack there seems to be plenty of food everywhere there's plenty of food in Sokoban and you can always pray to get um, to get your stomach filled by your god if you're weak so like even even in the early game if you don't have, if you got a, if you don't have two rings and you might as well chuck it on sure but uh, and it's slightly convenient to not have to worry about dying of accidentally not seeing your status line and dying of hunger which is probably why it's good for that reason but you know apart from that it's it's convenient but well, you know any of these if you have any of these other rings you're gonna not not bother using it and in fact i think i've seen a lot of people kind of wandering around with slow digestion on because they're so worried about hunger and not using some of these higher tier rings and then getting themselves into trouble because oh they're not wearing free action or you know they can't don't have a free ring slot to put something on so i take can almost get you killed for that reason so yeah um it's okay it's a bit meh 
Uh, we're almost there now, so let's go protection from shape changes. Now, it's not one that I find myself using that often, um, but there is actually one case where I died where it would have saved my life, and that's the old chameleon polymorphing into an arch lich, um, or an arc lich, uh, however you are supposed to pronounce it. Um, it obviously, it'll stop. Um, it's quite good. it could be quite convenient in like the Valley of the Dead when there's so many vampires and that um, actually I forget how it works does it force them into their vampire form uh, makes you satiated for too long yeah but when you started you thought it was the god ring yeah um, yeah generally hunger is just not that much finish. I actually don't use protection from shape changes enough to say how it works or what uh that sort of thing but i know that you obviously can stop creatures from changing so it's particularly against chameleons is where it really comes in handy against vampires i guess it depends on whether it forces them into their vampire form or their um bat form that they're in uh it's probably be more useful if it kept them in their bat form but i don't know all i know is that by the time you generally start running into vampires they're not that useful uh you don't need to worry that much could be used against vlad i guess um but yeah uh not not for me i generally have other by the time i get to the the area where there's many shape changes i just take one of these other rings above that regeneration oh i'm tempted doesn't belong in the same tier as like conflict but it also doesn't belong in the same tier as like invisibility polymorph control and so forth it's quite useful um never considered using the shape changes on, on vampires yeah neither have i really because usually by the time you see start seeing vampires they're not that much of a threat um they can drain your levels obviously so if there's a lot of them around usually i find like the best thing with vampires that are sh know that are uh, in bat form like on the valley of the dead is just leave them in bat form like just don't engage them if they don't if you don't engage them they won't turn into vampires that can drain your levels and it's fine a bat's not going to do any damage to you at that point in the game so that's what your bugle's for just blow your bugle and they'll get scared and run away from you and um you just don't have to worry about them so you know, the bugle p makes that use of it pretty useless so regeneration though is pretty good um i will uh it it you just it just gives you lots of hp back um i i must say i haven't really read up on the regeneration newer regeneration changes in 3.7 so that might change things a bit um but yeah regen is if you have a high ac and we're in the ring of regeneration you're just so unstoppable I mean, if you have a high AC, you're reasonably unstoppable anyway, but combined with HP regeneration, you just you can just tank everything. Um, I will often, if I'm a lawful character, I will avoid using conflict just for roleplay reasons because I don't think it's very lawful to uh, go around forcing creatures to fight each other. Um, it's very chaotic to cause a, a, a barroom brawl like that. So... Uh, often like on the astral plane in particular like if you're on the astral plane and you're a lawful character who doesn't want to wear conflict for um, role play purposes then what else are you going to wear right you're going to wear teleport control no because you can't teleport you don't need to levitate on the astral plane you're not going to wear any of these other rings are not going to do anything for you so pretty much the only other ring that you'll wear at that point is regeneration um, which will increase your survivability everything else is pretty much useless so i wear it for that reason and that's why i put it in the great tier uh yeah so that's almost done just one ring warning is actually quite i'd say it's good if you don't have intrinsic warning um if you don't have telepathy in particular i'd say it's it's either good or okay um yeah is it about as useful as invisibility or shock resistance or polymorph control maybe not um yeah i think that's um yes yeah, so I'm, I'm going to put it there with warning if you don't know what it does it shows you 
the level difficulty level of creatures nearby so actually so the most important thing is probably it shows you there is an enemy here that you can't see and it tells you how difficult it is from a scale on a scale of one to five that's quite useful um, just for seeing uh, what monsters are about particularly ones that are brainless so you can't use tele telepathy to detect them uh, so for that reason it's good so i think i think that's my list i think we're done let's just do a quick pass over for any changes uh i think people if anyone's going to disagree with me i think people are going to say conflict is better than all of these other ones which i do agree with um but i just don't want to split the tier list into 27 tiers uh it's obviously not in the same category as free action i think um so i'm happy with that uh in fact if we were going to order these in order of what's good it goes i'd say it goes this order um yeah that's it so thank you for for being here and uh, let's see what it was uh so this causes i'm sure uh other people would disagree with some of my choices and probably that would tell me searching and regen still feels high personally searching where did i put searching searching i mean it's in the okay tier right um it's it's not in the mo it's not mostly useless it's okay which makes sense to me the stealth thing blows you away yeah region region is high region is is like literally like, like as i said it's one of the it, it it just gives you more hp and allows you to tank more damage which is great especially like early game is probably not that useful but late game it's super useful because all these other rings that you have uh i mean conflict is better if you have conflict you know you want to wear conflict sure that's just better um but like apart from that reaction conflict and regeneration are like my end game rings right it's those three reaction conflict regeneration and levitation that's like my my go-to's um the other ones are kind of niche users but those are the ones that i'll just like have on um and as, as i said you generally want conf conflict kind of supersedes regeneration for sure but i like to role play being lawful so yeah um you just be surprised like if you have like just watch your hp bar just go up and up and up and up and it, or not going down and like it's just because the ring of regeneration is just giving you more hp and more turns particularly on levels where you're not actually fighting in a choked corridor you're just trying to wade through um it can just let you keep going so yeah all right that's my list i think we will call it there uh thank you for your input and i look forward to everybody telling me in exactly what way i'm wrong uh, so see you later